Hello my loves, I hope you're all doing really well and having a great week. Welcome to another vlog. This week's video was actually just going to be a dedicated mango and H&M haul. But then I woke up this morning really missing vlogging so I thought I would integrate it into a vlog. It's currently a Thursday morning, I'm about to do my makeup and I thought I would do it with you guys. I actually uploaded the makeup look I'm about to do over on my Instagram. Um, but it was like a really quick 30 second reel so I thought I'd just do it again quickly and go into a bit more depth. In the summer, I love to use the By Terry CC Serum. This smells like roses. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Here's what it looks like. I wear the shade Sunny Flash. I've actually got a discount code as well for pretty much everything I'm gonna be using on my face today. Um, so I'll have everything linked down below with the code. It gives you 20% off. Yeah, this doesn't really give much coverage, but it's just a beautiful base. Like it's really glowy, gives you a nice tan. As you can see, it matches my face to my neck because I, my face is naturally uh, pale well it's not naturally pale but um well no it is naturally pale i just wear a lot of spf so it never matches my body guys something magical has happened in the last month i have finally hit puberty um it's about seven or eight years too late but yeah i finally grown some boobs and i'm not going to show you but you can kind of see and i have no idea why they've suddenly decided to grow now I'm not complaining though. Um, I'm not pregnant or anything like that. Don't worry guys, nothing's changed. Yeah, they're a nice little addition and um, I'm not used to it. So yeah, that was a very unnecessary piece of information to tell you guys, but I just noticed them in the viewfinder. Okay, for brows, I'm gonna use what I always use, which is just a Benefit brow palette. It's funny because when I was younger, my body was probably one of my biggest insecurities. I felt so childlike because I have no curves, I've never had any curves. I've always been very like naturally slim and unless unless I eat loads and loads and loads, I don't gain weight and it's always been, it, it used to be like a big insecurity but then as I've grown up and I've matured, I've just come to realize that that's the way I am and I'm happy with that. It's funny because you always want what you can't have, right? Like if you're curvy, most people want to be smaller. If you're smaller, you want to be curvy. Like you just can't win. So life's too short, you may as well just, um, accept what you have and be happy with it. I'm actually going to Pilates later. I've started going to Pilates in the clouds again. I think I may have vlogged there before, but it's the most beautiful studio. It's in Notting Hill. Um, I'll show you guys later. It's just stunning. Um, but yeah, I've started going to Pilates again because um, my goal at the moment is just to become really healthy and fit. Like I'm so weak, it's a joke. I struggle to open doors sometimes. No, that's not entirely true. I mean, it's true a little bit, but um, yeah, I just have no no strength at all. So I'm really trying to work on my core strength, my arm strength, and also hopefully by doing exercises, it will like bulk me out a little bit as well. My main form of exercise used to be um, horse riding. And I still go as much as I can now, but it's actually really hard to fit in my schedule. Whereas Pilates is a lot easier because it's like an hour, um, I can normally go like around meetings, I can go like in the evening or in the morning. Um, so yeah, Pilates in the clouds. And then the other one I go to is Hardcore in Fulham. Um, that's another really nice one, but it's a little bit more, um, it feels a lot more like a workout. Whereas Pilates in the clouds feels, is way more enjoyable. You don't work so hard, but you still get the same like burn and the same ache the next day. I'm just thinking, do I quickly blow dry my hair while it's still a little bit damp? so the products can do their thing. Yep, I'm gonna do that. Oh my God, guys, I've got the new Dyson. Let me show you. I've had this now for about two weeks. I am obsessed. I mean, I was obsessed with my old Dyson. And to be honest, there's not huge differences. The differences are quite subtle. But yeah, it's just really tough to um, be given the chance to get the new one. They actually really kindly sent this to me. Everyone on my Instagram was asking if I'm gonna be giving away my old one. And I really wish I was, but guys, I couldn't do that to be. bee has been desperate for a Dyson hair wrap for since I've had mine. And so yeah, I went straight to her and she was so happy. Okay, first things first, let's put in the Root Maximizer. This is the Philip Kingsley one. I wonder if my code covers this. I'm not sure, but I'll have this link down below. Okay, and then just some heat protect. I'm not really fussy with the brands I use heat protect wise because I feel like you can't really tell what they're doing. So I just use whatever, whatever I have. I'm currently using the Kerastase uh, this is part of their Genesis range. I actually love their Genesis range. The shampoo and conditioner are really good. I'm gonna start off with just a real rough dry just to get it all nice and smooth. This is the attachment I use first. Cool, that'll do for now. Let's go back to makeup. For concealer, I'm using Laura Mercier. This is in the shade 2.5. And I'm also gonna just pop it in here because I put fake tan, you need like the spray tan, 
on my face last night and basically sometimes unless you like wipe around here it like settles into the creases of your nose and it's just not very flattering so let's brighten that up a little bit throw your buffer brush to get this in the new charlotte hilbury bronzer actually is this new i'm not sure but it's stunning um this is in the shade three and then i've got this charlotte hilbury brush as well which again is amazing it actually works best if you pat it i found rather than like swiping which is what i normally do i put quite a bit on my cheeks because that just gives such a nice like glowy summery look so i almost use it as a bit of a blush as well i will add blush over the top though okay, and then anything that's left on the brush i will just kind of brush over my face i have just been sent this new laura mercier tinted moisturizer blush um this is this arrived in the post this morning so this is a first impressions I don't my fingers or a beauty blender or a brush. Okay, I'm gonna try it with like a soft brush. I need a mirror. Mm, have I put on a little bit too much? I think I may have. In the summer, I like to put my blush kind of like under my eye, across my nose, and slightly up here. Again, it just gives you that really nice kind of soft, flushed, um, summery look like you've just been on holiday. Okay, let's beauty blender this out. I definitely put on too much. Okay, right, yeah, you definitely only need a tiny bit. Okay, I think it's probably best to blend with fingers. Let's try again. Okay, I'm struggling a little bit. It's either too much or too little. I think I just need to get used to it. So bear with me, I'm gonna keep on trying and I'll let you guys know how I get on. I'm gonna do a very, very small wing. From Mascara, I'm using this by Terry One. It's quite cool because you have the brush and then you can twist it. This is gonna show up on the camera, let's see. Okay, I don't know how well this is showing, but basically you twist it. So one way gives you length, the other way gives you volume. One thing I've learned in the last week is that with mascara on me, less is more. Um, I've always kind of piled on the mascara, but I actually think it suits me more when I focus it on the outer side and then a little bit on the inside rather than just coating on and on and on. Or at least it looks nicer for like a daytime look anyway. Also, I have to ask, who is watching Love Island this year? I've started watching it and I'm actually finding it really, really boring. Um, I liked the first episode, but since then I have not been gripped at all. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be that committed to it this year. And for lips, I'm using NYX Liner. This is my favorite liner of all time. And then NARS Lip Balm in the shade Orgasm. Okay, and then let's just add a little bit of bronzer to my eyelids just to give a little bit more definition and then i'll just sweep that across my eyelid okay that needs blending but can you see the difference a little bit under my nose this just gives like the illusion of like a bit more of a turned up kind of cute button nose i guess why does this look so not blended on camera it is blended in real life okay so that's me done now i just need to do my hair i'm actually not doing anything particularly glam today um i do want to film a reel though so um yeah, let's sort this out. Okay, a little bit of Olaplex oil. I find this oil is a little bit greasy, but anything Olaplex is just so good for your hair. So I use it really minimally just to get any frizz out, smooth down the bonds. I have to show you this one attachment on the Dyson. This is the new one. And if you have the old Dyson, you can buy it separately. Actually, no, I think you can get it for free. Don't, don't hold me to that, but I think you can get it for free. But yeah, this is the new attachment. This is insane. It literally, why does my makeup look so unblended? I promise you, in real life it doesn't look so unblended. Anyway, this is like a straightener. It is actually magic. Let me see if I can demonstrate. I found it a little bit confusing at first, but I think I've got it. Like that is actually magic. Like I don't want to straighten my hair today, but you can see the difference. Obviously this side is just a bit more fluffy and a little bit wavy. This side is dead straight. It takes like one go, it's insane. And then the other new feature of the Dyson is you only have one barrel rather than two. So you don't have to switch over. And when you want to switch directions of the airflow, you just move this little toggle here. Okay, once I'm done, another side to go. One more thing I'd say that is a bit of a point of difference between this and the last model is it's ever so slightly more powerful, so it's a little bit, so it's also a little bit quicker. Okay, and I'm done, I'm ready, so let's go film some reels. It is really dark outside now and I hate filming inside 
when it's dark. So yeah, we will see how we go. Hello guys, it's about an hour later. I'm super happy because number one, the sun's come out. Number two, I have a new favorite snack. Whenever I find a new snack, it makes me really happy. These are, these are from Snacking Essentials and they are milk chocolate raisins and they're so, so yummy. Um, I'm currently really procrastinating shooting this reel and I really do not know why. Um, yeah, I think I'm lacking in motivation today. My little zap order has just arrived. The amount of money I spend on this app is obscene, but it's just, it's just so convenient. Let me show you what I've got. Okay, so we have spinach, parsley, kale, both my smoothies and the bunnies. We have some oat milk. My preference for oat milk is Oatly, but they are out of stock. Some more of my favorite snack. Bin bags, thought I'd try these as well. Um, almond flavored, smoky almonds. I'm obsessed with these trip drinks. They are so good. This is elderflower, um, mint and CBD. Some cleaning wipes and some baby bills. Honestly, Zap is just so handy. I never really order like groceries from them. Like if I want to cook or something, I'll just, um, actually I just use HelloFresh now. I still have a code of them as well. I will, um, it gives you 50% off, so I'll put the code down below. But yeah, it's just good for like little bits and bobs, like baby bells. Also really weirdly, the light baby bells taste so much better than the original ones. Anyway, I am procrastinating even more now. Um, I've even got my phone ready, set up in the background to film this reel. I read somewhere that procrastination comes from doubt. So it's the fear of getting something wrong or not doing something right so you avoid doing it so you don't have that feeling. And yeah, that, that must be in the back of my head. Maybe it's because I haven't filmed a reel at home in ages. I'm out of practice, I'm not sure, but yeah, let's go. Do a quick steam before I shoot so everything looks nice and neat. Apologies if you can hear my dishwasher in the background. I'm going to film the first part of the reel, which is literally me just holding up the outfit to camera. And that sounds so simple, but it always takes me about like 10 takes. Okay, that's the first take done, and then I start putting on the clothes. And then once the clothes are on, I then do the accessories. Here are the accessories. So we've got Tom Ford perfume, hourglass lipstick, Tag Heuer watch, Celine Sunnies, and my pearl Missouri necklace. I'm so fussy. I've just put on my shoes like any normal human would, but I don't like where I've done it. So now I'm gonna do it again. Who's in the bag? Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, Paul. What are you doing? Oh, Pip's now come to investigate. What are you guys doing? Oh, Pip, don't go in that way. That's stupid. Oh my God, he's trying to go. <laughs> trying to go through the bag hole. Oh. oh my god, she's gonna get stuck. Pip, don't go that way. Go this way. There you go. Now you can go in a vocal. Go on. This is so much fun, guys. Look at their little bombs. <laughs> Anyway, I'm now done filming. I don't know why I made that out to be so hard in my head because that was the easiest thing ever. I'm just gonna quickly edit it, see if there's anything I need to refilm. And then I'm gonna get on my gym clothes and go to Pilates. I feel like my hair and makeup has been wasted on a day where I'm not seeing anyone really or doing anything. Another thing that's arrived today is a little gift from Lily and Bean. They sent me this bag, which I'm so excited to use in the summer. I currently use like my Goyard when I go abroad, but I don't want to take it to the beach. And I thought this would be perfect as like a nice luxury beach bag. And I've got my initials obviously on it. And I just think it's so gorgeous. It's very Chanel-esque without trying to be a duplicate of Chanel. So I'm really happy. I can't wait to use this. I am an idiot. I've just realized I started the reel with the Chanel bag and then and then I finish it with the Dior. So I'm gonna have to refilm that first section. On my way to Pilates. Here's my outfit. I've got a, actually my entire outfit is Amazon fashion. Um, and then my shoes are Chanel, bag is Goyard. I might go shopping after Pilates, which is why I've got the blazer on over the top, just to make it look a little bit more put together. Like a hug of big tree trunk, mm -hmm. control it open, and the right side. 
Good job. Perfect. So go a little lower so you don't strain your shoulders. Perfect. Just the length of the leg. Do you feel it there? Yeah. I see it shaking. You're doing good. Squeeze. Perfect. Work through that glute. Keep it going a little bit higher. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. They always go so quickly and I find that's a good sign that you're enjoying yourself. Um, anyway, I'm now in Westfield because I did a mango order for this week's haul and there's the most random address in it. It's like a mix between like my address and like some other random address. So I don't know where this package is or if it's ever going to get delivered. The postcode is right though, so I'm, I'm staying hopeful but um, I really want to film this video tomorrow so I'm just going to pop to Mango in Westfield and uh, get some bits, hopefully the bits that I ordered online because there's some really nice bits there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take you guys, actually no, I won't take you guys with me so, so I can show you everything tomorrow. Also, can we appreciate I'm vlogging in public and I'm not being very awkward? I'm very proud of myself. Good morning guys, it's now Friday. Happy, happy Friday. I've got another reel to film this morning and then I'm gonna film a haul. I haven't decided if I'm going to integrate the haul into this video yet or not. I might just put it in its own video. I'm not sure, TBC. But yeah, I'm about to film a reel. This is for New Look, who are a brand that I've worked with since I started Instagram. They were actually my first ever long-term partnership and I remember when they came through, I was so excited. Anyway, um, I'm gonna show you this suit here. I've just steamed it, well, I haven't steamed it. My assistant steamed it. She's actually with me today. She's working in the other room. Um, why am I so out of breath? Oh my God. It's this beautiful suit, I'm obsessed, and it's like a wedding look. So um, I'll show you the finished look when I'm dressed. And then these are the shoes I'm pairing it with. Again, these are new look. How stunning are they? So beautiful, very designer inspired. And then I'm matching it with this perfume, which is a new fave. It matches so perfectly with the outfit. I think I'm gonna put on this lip gloss and then finish off the look with my lady Dior. So same process as yesterday, standing here, getting dressed. And then here's a little sneak preview of today's haul. Update on the mango order. I managed to um, send it to my neighbor's address, which is actually my address. So I'm hoping it arrives, but I don't think it's going to arrive today. I've just got a feeling it's not arriving today, which is so sad. But yeah, I did get some things in Westfield yesterday, but I will find that mango stores. I am obsessed with mango online. I love their website. I love the clothes on the website, but I rarely find like more than like two, three things when I actually go into store. And another thing about Westfield is the one in White City, um, they never have any small sizes. If they do have small sizes, it has makeup on it. Um, so yeah, it, put me, it puts me off a little bit going to shop there sometimes, but it's just really like convenient because it's quite near. Anyway, I'm procrastinating again, so let's get on and film this reel. Hello guys, I've finished filming the reel. Let me show you it. In fact, you guys will probably see this on my Instagram, but I'll show you anyway. And this is the suit. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I wish I had a wedding to go to. And you can also wear them as separates. So I could wear this blazer of like little white shorts. Um, I'd wear the trousers with, hmm, maybe like a white bodysuit and some like little white strappy sandals for like a nice lunch or something. Um, also guys, I've honestly been so indecisive. I've got everything ready and set up to film. This is the little setup here. And I've now decided I'm not gonna film it today because I really wanna show you guys what I ordered online. And I just feel like I'm scraping, not scraping the barrel, but like um, I'm just, filming the haul for the sake of it. So that's gonna be next week's video now. I'm really sorry to be a pain in the ass, but hopefully it's worth the wait. I will on the other hand do a mini haul and show you some like new in pieces that aren't from those brands. Okay, so here's a little sneak peek of the haul, but I have also had this delivery here today. This is from Vita Grey. I've wanted to get these for so long and they're always out of stock. So I've got two um, co-ords. There's this navy one with this beautiful like texture to it comes with matching shorts and then there's also this white one so i'll try this one now and show you how it looks like on this set was 100 percent worth the wait i really wanted this for mykonos but it was on but it was on pre-order 
wow, I am obsessed. It feels so luxury and everything is just like perfection. So it's got these really big, nice sleeves. Um, it's got a tight waist, but you can wear it like multiple ways. So you can wear it like kind of what is like a light jacket with a top underneath, tie it up like here. And then underneath these, I've just got the matching shorts and the material is just to die for. I feel like it looks so expensive. Maybe style it with some skinny jeans and some loafers as a bit of a off-duty casual look but yes i am obsessed i've just paired it with my um, med sliders wow my legs are so pale i need to get some sand to play on that asap okay guys when i said asap i really meant asap i'm putting on some sand to play i don't think i've spoken about this one before on my channel but wow this is my new favorite tan i love it it just gives the most beautiful color it's not streaky it lasts really well and um yeah it's just the dream basically normally i'd prep for my skin beforehand by like exfoliating actually i'm going to show you what i've been using to exfoliate recently because it's another really good product so this is the kate somerville exfoli kate resurfacing body scrub and this is both a physical and a chemical exfoliator so it does two jobs in one and you put this all over your body when it's wet i leave it to sit for about like two minutes maybe um, and it leaves your skin feeling insane. Like it's the first body scrub I've used where I've really felt like I've noticed a, like a huge, huge difference. It's just the perfect way to prep your skin, but I don't have time for that today. So I'm just gonna put the saint Pay on straight away. This is the kind of fake tan that just looks so edible. Like I want to eat that, it looks like chocolate mousse. Like look at that color just lovely and it doesn't smell too fake tanny as well it kind of smells a little bit like some kind of shampoo actually so it smells like quite clean okay so i now have really nice and bronzed legs weirdly i don't have any tan up here but my legs are super pale anyway this is the second set from vita grace i just love how kind of like over pronounced everything is like the waist really comes in then it really goes out and yeah i'm really feeding the navy i would wear this in the uk i'd probably prefer to wear this abroad but uk could also work for this you could pair this with some little trainers or some sandals and yeah it'd make a really nice little daytime look now i immediately want to go onto the feed to grace website and just buy everything because these two are just so stunning good morning guys i am currently just doing my hair I didn't vlog the rest of my day yesterday because um, my sister and I had a really productive day. Oh my God, this is not coming out. Okay, this is the Olaplex number six. This is the bond smoother. And I'm mixing this with the number seven, which is the bonding oil. Yes, my sister and I had such a productive day yesterday. We got loads of admin done. We got loads of like odd jobs done. So um, I really feel like I can properly enjoy this weekend because I know that I haven't got any like little jobs to do. So um, yeah, I've woken up in a really good mood. It's a sunny day in London. I'm meeting my mum today, so I can't wait to see her. Um, it was her birthday yesterday and to celebrate, we're doing this like um, thing around London. You buy tickets and then you have access to all of the gardens. Like, you know, the pretty ones in like Chelsea that are normally like residents only. You can go in them. So that's what we're doing. And the reason that I'm coating my hair in oil is because I'm doing a slick back bun today. What was I saying? Yesterday, yeah, productive day, and then I just had such a nice chilled evening. Bees in Miami at the moment, so I spent it by myself with the buddies. I watched Love Island, I had a glass of wine, my favorite dinner, and those kind of evenings, honestly, make me so happy. I mean, I obviously love it when bees here as well, um, but sometimes I think evenings to yourself are needed and yeah it was really nice i also watched love island i think i said that and i take back what i said at the start of this vlog that it's boring i'm really enjoying it now like things are getting a bit more interesting and i know it sounds really sad but something i love about love island is the fact that it gives me a bit of a routine in the evenings like i know that it's coming up to nine o'clock so i'll make my cup of tea and like get my snacks ready god i don't know if i suit slick back hairstyles you know guys i feel like i've got too much of a big forehead and my ears stick out as well funny story when i was little my ears really like, they have proper little elf ears. <laughs> and then I think I just grew into them. I've got a very unesthetically pleasing smoothie going on today. Um, all the cups are in the dishwasher, so I'm using the plastic one and it just doesn't look very nice, but it actually tastes really good. Okay, now I'm going to twist and 
wrap and there we go nice little greasy egg um i'll quickly show you guys my outfit so i've got this top on from naked i've got these trousers on these aren't trousers these are shorts from zara they come with this belt which happens to match perfectly and then i'm just going to pair this with my little uh white gucci loafers today's perfume of choice go for this one this is uh two Paris noir by zara Yummy! Hi. Hi! She is burnt to a crisp, but I'm very annoyed at her. <laughs> anyway, guys, I've just edited this vlog back and realised that I didn't end it. So I'm going to end it here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video for maybe a mango haul. Who knows? Because I've gone back and forth on that one about five million times. But hopefully, fingers crossed, mango haul. Anyway, I love you all so, so, so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.